first time I'm announcing it on my channel, but if you guys didn't already know, I am a designer for Even when the road gets tough, you're enough. I don't know how I deserve you. You know I'll always keep on coming back to you. to another day of moving vlog the moving vlog series as you can tell i'm very happy today because someone was selling or someone is selling a console a tv console that i really really want and at first she said someone was coming to pick it up and i was like so bummed about it but now she said the person canceled and I can come and pick it up. And guys, it is going to be so beautiful. I'm going to put the console right here because my TV is going to go here. And I love it, guys. This is how the TV console looks like. Oh my gosh. So it will look perfect here and match perfectly with like the neutral tones of my living area. I also saw like a little coffee table from Marketplace that was like the same color as the console, but um, they were like too far. They're like an hour away. I'm still going to inquire about it so that maybe we can like have a meeting point so I don't have to drive that full hour. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm thinking that console to be at this wall and just kind of have that nice warm living space. I'm also going to go to Ikea to see if I can get a rug for this area. Um, the rug I saw in Ikea is a bit smaller than I would like, but, um, it would work in the space, but I think it might be a little too warm. I really want the living area to be very neutral, not too warm, not too cold, just very neutral. So if the rug is too warm, I think I'm going to get another rug off of rugs.com, um, because I found one that I like. But yeah, the living area is looking like this. This mirror is going to like shift towards the corner. And then that's the desk area. It's looking really nice. Ignore the trash over there. But I love how it's looking so far. And yeah, I'm just super excited. <laughs>
I'm announcing it on my channel, but if you guys didn't already know, I am a designer for Savage X Fenty. Yes, Rihanna's brand. I Basically, that's the reason why I moved to LA because I got a job working at Savage X Fenty as a designer, so I'm on the design team. It's been such a dream. Let me know in the comment sections below if you guys want me to do a video on kind of like what it's like working at Savage X Fenty because it has been an amazing experience thus far. So obviously we're not in the office now, but I did get asked to um, do a video shoot on Friday. So I, I told you guys, I believe in my last vlog or the other day that um, I'm doing a video shoot on Friday for work and it is a video shoot for Savage X Fenty. So I'm so excited. Whenever the video does come out, I will go back to this video and link it below so you guys can see that video. I'll probably also mention it in a, in a future vlog when it comes out and link it there as well. So I'm about to put these on. Um, after, I'm gonna call my dad. I haven't called my dad since I moved out here. So I'm gonna try and call my dad. Hopefully he's available. And then I'm going to actually pick up my console table, which I'm so happy about. And then I'm gonna head over to Ikea to see if I can get a rug there. Um, I'm gonna get a dresser. And I may also get a coffee table. There's a coffee table I really like, but the lady who's selling it lives like an hour away. So I'm still trying to see if I can coordinate with her to have a meeting spot so that I'm not driving a whole hour. Um, but if not, I'll get the coffee table at Ikea. <music> gonna get the lack side table for the living area I think it is a little too big for the corner I want to put it in but it's only ten dollars so I think I'm gonna get this one and I'll probably put contact paper around it so it goes more with my living area because all these other ones are like more expensive not that much more expensive but and this is what I'm thinking for the coffee table. It's not my dream coffee table, but it's a good price. I can always contact paper it. I don't know if I'm going to choose the white or the wooden color. I don't even think it matters that much because like I said, I think I'm going to put contact paper over it. It's kind of what I want to achieve in my kitchen. Um, having like the black backsplash and then I love these lights underneath. This wooden color is so nice too. Very chic. I'm gonna get pillows, extra pillows for the couch since I only have three that I like. So I'm gonna get two big ones. And then I'm gonna get these pillow covers. I hope they go with my couch. It's a little bit on the warmer tone, but I think it should be fun. If I don't like it, I'm gonna return it. This is kind of nice. I like the texture. It's not as soft as it looks though, but I do like the texture of this. Oh, and this is 26 by 26. It looks so huge, but I do really like the texture of this one. But this one is $24.99 compared to this one, which is $12.99. This is more of the tone of my living room. So what is this? It's like $50 for two pillow cushions. I like these tones better. They're more neutral. This is a little darker, but they're accent pillows, so I guess it's not so bad. This is nice. I would have done something like this, but this only has 20 by 20. It's like an ombre pillow. 
of like the jute rug. I think it looks so elegant, but it's not the most softest rug. So I'm looking a rug for my living area. So since the jute rug is not the softest rug, I think I'm gonna go with a more fluffy rug. But these rugs are actually quite nice. Obviously not for living area because they're not big enough. Oh, okay, so this is, this is the rug. This is the rug I saw online. It's not super soft. I think it would look perfect in my living area. Like, perfect. The color is so nice. This is the off-white low pile rug. Oh, I think I'm gonna get it. And obviously this isn't the price because this is not the size I would get. I would get the larger size. But yeah, I love this. I think I'm gonna get it, guys. I love it. Spicy chicken sandwich with garlic fries and with champagne. But I'm not gonna lie, they do feel kind of light. Oh, I think they go like this. Oops. I think it's supposed to go like this. You know that show up either. But anyway, this is how you would like place the knife in. But I feel like this works really well with my decor as a pizza knife. But yeah, this is the whole set. So I'll show you guys. How that looks like when I'm done. Curtains from Amazon for the bedroom. Um, looks like this. I don't love the color. It's not like white. I got white, but it's definitely not white. But um, they're 108, 108 feet long, which is what I needed for my bedroom. So I also got that. Just came back from Ikea. And I got a few things, um, so I'm going to do a little haul and show you guys what I got. But first, the things I can't show in frame, but I will show you guys later. I got my rug, I got my coffee table, I got a side table, and I finally got a dresser. So I got like big furniture today. And then um, I'll show you guys the little things that I got now. So I got an extension cord. I got some pillows covers because I got two big pillows for my couch so these are some pillow covers they don't match my couch exactly and I think I showed you guys that clip in the store but they're close enough so I got those then I got some, an oven mitt and like the pot holders as well got this garlic crusher I've been like I don't know why I've been thinking about this. Well, I know why. Because I hate how my hands smell like garlic every time after I cook when I like grate it or cut it. So yeah, I love that I got this. Um, and then I also got like outlet um, plug-in. I got two of these like organizers for my dresser so that I can put like my socks, my panties, like all that kind of stuff in there. So I got two of those. And lastly, I got two large pillows for my couch. I only have three pillows that I like that came with my couch. The golden um, pillow, this golden pillow that came with the couch, I don't really love it. So I got 
two big ones and I'll probably change out the cover of this since this is removable. I'll probably change out this color soon, but um, got that. And then my rug is laid out. My couch is in the kitchen because I laid out my rug. So this is how my rug is looking. It's literally perfect. Like the color is perfect. This is my couch and this is the rug. And I love this rug. It's so big. And then that's my TV stand. Um, I don't think I'm going to put a TV on it when I get it. I'll probably mount it. But I'll use this to like put some decor. It is kind of low and I wish it was a little longer. But I think it will do for now. And I just love the color. I think it works really well with everything so i'm gonna set this living room up put the couch back and then i'll show you guys how it looks i'm also gonna clean this because it's a little dirty and it wasn't built really well so i probably have to like tighten the screws but yeah i love this rug i got this from ikea like i mentioned i think it was 149 dollars so that looks good morning I wanted to show you guys how my living area was turning out. This is most likely not gonna stay there. It's just a placeholder there now, but I finally got my rug like I showed you guys yesterday from Ikea and it looks so good. I just moved these fixtures that were in my kitchen. I just put them here for now. Um, but I definitely wanna do like some coffee table books, maybe a plant. I do wanna do like a plant maybe here. So my vision for this side is to have like my TV up here, a plant maybe here, and then a bar cart, and then my trash can there. So that's what I'm thinking about doing for this wall. I like where my mirror is at right now. Like everything looks so good. I kind of wish I got the pillow cover and the 20 by 20 so I could cover that one because I feel like it looks like it's missing a pillow. But that's how I look rough right now. I just woke up. But that's how the uh, living room is looking. I love it. And then I'm building my coffee table, I think, today. And my side table. So I want my side table to go here. And I want to do like some like bust fixture. I wonder if it's still on tjmax.com. But I wanted to do that on this side and then I'm gonna do my coffee table here so that's when I'll probably remove the rug um but I am gonna do contact paper on probably both the side table and the coffee table to be like a neutral marble color like a cream marble color to kind of go with the neutral and I just love how the console looks like so yeah that's how the living area is looking like right now. table and I'm loving how it looks I'm going to put like a bust a bust <laughs> I'm gonna put a bust like a statue on here I think it's like 25 inches so it's gonna be really tall but I think it will really like make this space look super expensive and I was gonna put contact paper on it the same contact paper I want to use for my coffee table like a marble 
a light marble but i actually don't mind the white like it blends nice with the curtains it's tucked in the corner so you can't really see it so i actually don't really mind that um it's white so i think i'm gonna keep it white it is a big table but it fits perfect in this little corner and then i think i might do like a little uh, basket with throws I'll see if I could find something that could fit like underneath the table, but if not, it might have to go on the side. I don't know, but ignore my <laughs> duvet. I was like laying on the couch and I don't have to throw blankets yet, but I feel like that looks really good. And this literally took me less than 10 minutes to build, maybe five minutes. It's so simple to put it together. This is the lac um, table from Ikea. And it's just so easy to build. It's a really nice side table. And I think it's a good table too. If you just want to like sit and eat on the couch to like pull over. But I love how that's looking. Um, I'm going to give you guys a full overview of the living room when I get there. But yeah, so far, I'm really loving the side table here. Like before you could walk around and now that the table's here, you can't. Hence why I wish it was just a little bit thinner, but I really don't mind. It's just me, so I don't really need that alley walkway. But I'll give you guys a full tour of the living room once everything is cleared. Um, but here is my little um, baby's breath and this green plant um, bouquet. I decided to move it from the kitchen here as well. Um, just because I thought that looked nice. So it actually is looking a lot better than when I actually first put it together. It's actually really cute. I love this green color. Like it's so vibrant and beautiful. It looks so good. I think I might change out the water today too. But I love how this is looking. And then I just have um, this floss and this candle from H&M. I haven't burned it yet. Um... But yeah, I got this um, candle from H&M. This was also in the kitchen area, and I just moved it here for now. I got that from H&M, and I'm just having a little bit of ginger ale. I got this cup from Crate and Barrel. I just ordered these two coasters from a black-owned brand. I can't wait to show you guys. They're like these African-shaped coasters, and they're so beautiful. I really wanted one, and it was sold out. It was like a special edition that was sold out for a long time, and it finally got back. So I just ordered those and I think I'm going to put them on here so that I can leave these in the kitchen area. And when I get my bar cart, I'll leave these coasters on the bar cart and then I'll have some coasters here and then on the coffee table from the brand that I just bought it from. But I love how this is looking. It just looks so clean and like perfect. So anyway... It's been a really slow day for me so far. Like, I'm exhausted. I think the whole moving is <laughs> hitting me all at once today. Um, but tomorrow I am working. Like I told you guys, I'm doing the photo shoot for Fenty. So today I'm going to go grocery shopping. Um, I think I want to go to Ross to see some decorative items to get for like my coffee table. And then um, maybe a few other places, maybe Target again. Um, yeah, so I'll take you guys along with me wherever I go next but yeah it's just been a chill day so far so i'll catch you guys when something's happening hey guys so i just received some packages i went downstairs to grab some more packages so i'm about to let you guys see what i got literally h&m home has taken all my money literally i just bought something again from there yesterday ah okay yes i needed this this is a little wooden tray. So cute. I got this little wooden tray. I'm going to use this for the soap dispensers in my bathroom. So this is nice. So cute. I actually really like this. And the wood color is really pretty. The oval like the larger oval tray came back in stock yesterday for a split second and I was gonna get it but realistically I have no idea where I would put that so I just did the smart decision and didn't buy it but hopefully if I want it again hopefully it'll come back in stock 
but the thing with H&M Home is like once it's out of stock it is so like you're gambling at that point because you may not get it anyway the next thing I got was from Amazon Prime so I got these little baskets for the bathroom they're actually a lot smaller than I expected so I, I ordered a shelf on Amazon for my bathroom and that has not come in yet ordered some baskets to go in the shelf unit when it gets here I got these little baskets so they're not as big but what I was thinking of doing is putting like um what do you call it? washcloths in here like rolling up some washcloths and putting it here I need to find like a dollar store or something because I went to Ikea yesterday and they weren't expensive but I do not want to spend like $30 on washcloths like if I can get like a pack of four for a dollar at the dollar store that would be like ideal so I was thinking of doing like a bin for like um room spray and like maybe some like flushable wipes and stuff and then another bin for like washcloths and like little toiletry stuff for the bathroom so I got four of these which is perfect and then I ordered some bigger bins and in the bigger bins I want to put like larger towels and um bathroom tissue in the larger ones so those haven't come yet but these will go on like the the top shelves for the bathroom and then I also got some hooks. I think I told you guys I was getting this. Ah, oh, so cool. They're adhesive hooks and I'm gonna put this, I'm actually gonna go now and put them. I'm gonna put um, two in my entryway and then I'm gonna put four in the bathroom behind the door. Um, because I've been needing hooks. I need a hook for like my towel and my robe and my like shower cap. So yeah, I needed these hooks. And they came in a pack of six and I got these on Amazon. This is a nice car. 